This is John R. Tutu wants to the best. And today I've got a visual boost <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on on a login form. It's quite advanced. And <laughs> This is number five, and let's get started. So first, we're gonna open a new project. Name that whatever you want. Make sure it's a Windows form. Visual Basic, and name it as. I'll just name it as Login Form. Now once it's loaded up, we are going to... This is the form that you're going to show after the login, so you can do whatever you want with that. Whether it be a web browser or whatever you want. I'll just do a label in this one. So this is the form that it's going to show afterwards. So okay, add new item. Windows form. And we're going to add another one. So click the project, add new item, Windows form. So we have three. Four. So the second one will be the login form that we're making. So add a text box. And now we're going to make that. Uh, so we're going to go into properties and use system pass. Cut, whatever should be true. So when you start it up, it'll be like typing dots instead of the real letters. So we're just gonna resize that. Name the form as password. Now we're gonna turn the maximize box as false as usual. And we're going to turn the form bar style as to x3d. Now that that's done, we're going to add two buttons. Wherever you like. I'll name this as exit. And this one as login. So, yeah, pretty simple. Then we're going to add a label. Go type, enter password and yeah that's your form done and for form 3 we're going to add a label and it'll say incorrect password try again and it's also going to have one button there. Now you're going to go to your uh, whatever it's called and right click and go to properties and I'm going to do start form as form 2. So that's the first thing you'll see. Now what you want to do is the coding. So first double click the login button and this is the code. It's there. So if text box one text is your password, then form all right. Oh wait, I'll do that later. Form one will show. That means it'll show the main form. And if it's not that, then it will do this. So simple. 
Now we're gonna add a link label and wait, well, not here. Delete here. And we're going to just make this say show password hint. So we'll go ahead and make the form a little bigger and we're gonna make the label and we're gonna make it say your password hint is test in this case. So as you can see the oops the size of this form, uh, the height is one seven one uh, eight seven. We need that, and gonna add a label here again. Name that as hide password hint. So first, we're gonna double click the show password hint. Okay, so the height will be, oops, that was idiotic, uh, the height that you just got here, so the height, and the height will turn into that. Now we're going to hide it in the beginning so you can't see. Now the hide password here should be me.height equals equals 130 so it doesn't show it. simple uh, so we'd save that and as you can see here once we debug it we're not done yet by the way it works so yeah but well, we're not done yet with that we're gonna do link label label one dot enabled equals false all right true now we're going to do here link label one dot enabled equals false so basically what that means is when you click that you can't click it again because you can't show it again so yeah. Now the passwords are set case sensitive. So once we go to form three, we're going to make that okay. And we'll go back to form two. Exit should be end. Okay should be me dot close. And that's it. So we'll go ahead and start it up. So in this case, my one is your password here, and if we click login, it's loaded up the form. So yeah, that works. Now if we close that, and we type any random stuff, it'll say incorrect password, try again. And if we show the password hint, it shows that. Hide it and show that. Exit and it closes. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe. Thanks for watching.